All right, welcome back, everyone. This is episode four of my uh, Minecraft series on here. So we're going to go on a little bit of an exploration. I did do a little exploring off camera, not much. Um, I found two iron, which was great. Honestly, I've never had such an issue finding iron. <laughs> I've never, never had such an issue with it. Um, today's goal, we want to get a cow farm going. So there's a couple of cows hanging around here, which is great. Uh, however, I was exploring this way, and I'll show you. I have like a little path I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, this guy right here. I didn't really finish it, but it's just to kind of indicate where I was going. You can see it goes down there. But up around, I do want to go in that cave. There was a cave down here that I just explored because it was nighttime and nothing, nothing. Uh, but I was out getting gravel and sand, and you might know what those are ingredients for, and if you do, well, that's great. But I'll show you once we get there. Um, but yeah, over that way, there is a, uh, whatchamacallit, there's a ruined nether portal. So if we keep an eye on this valley, and we know we need to come up this way to head over to here. I'm going to put a little indicator for us right here. Um, and actually, you know what, we're going to grab the sugar cane just because we're right here. Might as well. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so... Up there, there it is up there. So I wanna go explore that. And the other thing we just seen is we just need to get a bunch of sand. We have everything else pretty much that I need. Uh, which sand, there's a lot of sand down here. Some clay down here, which clay would be kind of nice too. Uh, but there's some sand up over here actually. I'm gonna, since we're near it, I'm actually gonna grab it. Uh, since it's above ground, where'd it go? Oh, jeez, Luis, I got all turned around in there. But yeah, we're going that way. Uh, so yeah, let's go over here. We'll grab this real quick, just cause it's sand that's above ground, which is gonna be easier to grab. So we'll do that. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and there's not a lot of it above ground though, to be fair. Let's eat some food here. We need to get a better food source and then we actually can like, I think once we get a better food source, legit go caving um, because we need to do that as well, obviously. So we can actually get some, I mean, like literally anything, <laughs> just some ore in general would be great. Um, I would, yeah, just any ore would be great. I would take any ore at this point. Uh, okay, and I'm actually gonna grab, I know this is gonna get water on us, but We just need the sand, so we're gonna grab it. Make sure we don't drown here. Someone just shoot me? Oh, it's a drown with a trident, I would bet. Let's get out of the water. Yeah, I hear that that's the trident noise. We need to get away from here. Fast as possible. That is no good. The trident will kill us very quickly. So that is not good news for us. However, that up there is. So we actually probably can use this as like a little water elevator. That's actually kind of convenient. Uh, there's some more sand over here. We can grab that. I just want to make sure that drowned is not falling. I don't even, I never saw him, but I heard, I definitely heard the trident noise. So that's, that's what I heard. Now we're just going to swim up this. We see, make sure we don't fall off of it or jump out of it or anything crazy. We can swim up this really quick. All the way up to there and then there. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Literally right up to it. Oh, this thing is cool. This is a ruined portal, though. It should be, right? Yeah, ruined portal. So ruined portal is pretty cool. Um, there should be a loot. There it is right there. Loot chest. Unbreaking three is okay. Curse of Vanishing, that's terrible. Uh, we'll grab everything. We should be able to grab that curse off of there, or grab that enchantment off of there. We'll grab the obsidian, of course. Um, we'll grab that. Golden Shovel Fortune two. I'm not even sure why we would need that, but we have it. And a fire charge, I suppose. And then I usually just grab the chest, just so I know. Of course, I still stepped on it. I tried to jump over it. That way I know I've already um, grabbed. I actually really want that, uh, that gold block. Can I get that gold block from you? Oh, wait a second, that might actually, I can't even remember if that's going to do anything to it or not. Of course, it's up there in the middle of the lava. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Gold block. Fun stuff. We need to remember where that portal is. Oh gosh, that's a deep, dark cave. Not really, just kind of a pit. Oh, I kind of recognize this area. I feel like this is where I died a while ago. Like one of my OG death spots. Oh, there's a sheep up there too. I wanted to get another bed, but we need some sheep. So we need to get some wool. So yeah, over that way is where we got to take it. Gosh, why is there no sheep near our base? And see, like right in here, like I'm totally lost right now, pretty much. I'm going to go grab the wool off the sheep real quick because that was one of the things I wanted to get is enough wool to make another bed for when we're out kind of exploring. And that's uh, three, beautiful, three wool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, 
let's head back this way towards where I think this is where we need to go. Uh, we're not ready mentally or anything else to come up here and explore all this yet. So yeah, there's that. Um, and actually, I do want some of these red flowers though while we're over here. And I think I got a pretty good idea for what I want to I want to do. You guys are gonna make fun of me for it, but that's okay. It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna look. It's gonna look. I'm hoping it's gonna look cool. I have a vision in my head of what I want to do um, for our cow farm, and I think you guys are gonna make fun of me for it, but I think it's gonna be great. So I'm excited about it. It may actually look pretty cool. It may not look cool. It may look ugly. So we'll kind of just has, have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. So, and again, we're not gonna be at our base that we're at now forever. And I know we can do this by honestly getting uh, what you call it, some. Uh, and the reason I'm grabbing the flowers, by the way, is for the dye. I need I need more red dye for the build I want to build. So we'll do that. So I'm going to try to focus on, like, again, this series is going to be more about decoration, not functionality. Um, I've been focused on decoration or uh, functionality in the past, pretty much. And I think this will be good. All right, 19. Let's get some more of the white ones real quick. I mean, more red won't hurt, but we need more white ones for sure. Okay, grab some of those. Boom, boom, boom. Get some more of these guys up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, since we kind of got that uh, squared away-ish, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here. I'm going to get back to our home base zone without falling off of that. There's this guy. Okay, beautiful. Okay. And we just need to head down there to that ravine and go across over there. So I can see where we need to go. Let's get down to the water without dying. There we go. This water will take us straight down. Shouldn't take any damage if we're in the water. I say that, I'll probably somehow take damage. Nope, perfect. Okay, beautiful. Let's grab some more of the sand. But anyway, I'll get the sand, get this stuff done, and I'll get back to the base, and then I'll bring you guys back in again, and we'll get some more stuff, uh, well, we'll get some more stuff squared away, and I'll show you kind of more about my plan. All right, so we are back home, and I'm ready to show you kind of what I'm planning a little bit here. So, we get, this is kind of what I've all found with my exploration. Well, and I got these from our bees here. But anyhow, uh, okay, let's grab, nope, not cobblestone. Gravel, gravel, gravel and we got the flowers that's that's good stuff there uh, let's go up here oh i also organized the house i didn't show you guys that so up here i put some barrels up here because they kind of lurk as cabinets so just kind of miscellaneous blocks here which i'm gonna put the wool in there um and obsidian in there is there any other miscellaneous blocks mm, sand would technically qualify but we need the sand um then here literally just kind of miscellaneous loot drop type items um here literally anything else um and then oh down here we have wood in this chest, which I'm actually going to put, uh, or wood products, I should say. So wood or wood products. Those things can go sit in there. Any other wood on me? No. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, I put flint in there. I'll put that in there as well. Okay, beautiful. And then dirt, cobblestone. Pretty pretty straightforward. So that's what we got for our organization upstairs. Down here, this is just my chest for random stuff for that needs to be sorted. This is just where I put random stuff for now. So we also have some copper now. And again, there's the two iron that I got, which... It is what it is. Over here, valuables. So, <laughs> embarrassing low, low amount of valuables here. This is where our tools are going to go. So, I'm going to put all this stuff that we're not going to use right now. Uh, projectile, we might as well. We don't have any armor. So, we might as well actually wear the armor on there. That will actually probably help us out. And I'm actually going to make that into that and then put that in there. So, yeah, there's our valuables chest. I usually will make these into blocks later, but I like to have them in the form of ingots until we actually get too full up. Uh, but, yeah, and then here nothing here stuff that we're going to grow and bone meal so that's just kind of that combo there uh, so we're going to put food in this one and that's kind of what we got going on we'll actually put that in the food chest as well um, okay so over to our crafting table here we are going to do some fancy stuff we're going to make a bunch of red dye and then we're going to make some red concrete powder eight times eight 64 okay beautiful and then i also want um yeah, we'll do some white concrete powder as well. Well, it's like light gray, but that, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Um, I wonder if you can make white somehow, because we're making, I guess we're using, we have light gray dye is what we have. We don't have, oh, we need this bone meal. Pfft. Of course, we got bone meal. Bone meal there, and we can make some more bone meal with all of this. Can we put this in there? No, of course, not going to take the dyes. But all these other worthless flowers that we don't want... Uh, we can put them in here because we can get eight boat meal this way pretty quick by putting our flowers in here and actually we have some other random stuff that we're not going to use these and we can just throw some seeds in there sure why not um, okay let's do that 
I'll just throw, how many oak saplings do we have actually right now? Um, a lot. We don't need anywhere near that many. We can throw some of those in there. Wow, those did not do a lot. Flowers seem to be pretty good. Um, let's throw some more flowers in here. Yeah, flowers seem to be pretty much the best at six. So we need two more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's go in here. Um, oh, we need a white, white dye, right? Beautiful. Okay, white dye. White concrete powder, 64 of those. Now, what we need to do is we need to turn these into actual concrete, which if you don't know how to do that, you literally just have to get them wet. So that just kind of is what has to happen. We're, we do have to go down to the water because we don't have enough iron to make a bucket. I think we just have two iron. Those two iron we just found. I think that's literally all the iron we have. So, um, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Thankfully, we have water and a lot of other stuff kind of close-ish by. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go make these into concrete powder. You literally just put them in there. And then I'm going to start working on the kind of the build idea that I have. Um, and I'll show you guys uh, once I get a little bit of it done and see what you guys think. All right, welcome back in, everyone. So honestly, this was probably the thumbnail anyway. So the big reveal is not really that big of a deal. But anyhow, there it is. It's our barn. I like it. I think it turned out it turned out better than I thought it would. It's still not great. But again, we also have a limited uh, kind of building materials we have a excuse me, available to us. But uh yeah, overall, I think it looks it looks semi half decent. I I think that the roof on there is good to kind of mix it dark and light. Nice simple oak floor in here, but yeah, I think it looks good using. So this is the so I also want to talk this about this a little bit. So this stuff right here, this is the concrete powder. It's not concrete. So this stuff's the concrete, and that stuff's the concrete powder. The concrete powder works like sand. So if I place it up here, it's just gonna fall down. So you have to be kind of creative when you're using it. Um, and the concrete will stay sturdy as you saw that concrete didn't fall down, but I like the texture of the concrete powder there. So I kind of mixed the textures in a little bit and thought that this kind of turned out pretty nice. So it is seven wide intentionally. Um, I try not to make builds that way, but this one just kind of needed to be that way. Um, so I think right in this range in here, um, well, I'm tempted to put it up against a wall, but I think we'll put it in the center because that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, so right kind of in the center here or center-ish, we're going to put in and out back here. I think I'm going to put like some fencing and like a little pen or something back there. I don't know. But anyhow, even if we don't put anything in there, I think that'll be a good look to it. Let's go sleep real quick. But we're going to capture our cows um, here next. And I did have to I put a well outside. Sorry, I'm trying to sleep real quick. Um, I put a well outside and I did have to make a bucket. Um, we do have an, just enough iron to make us a hopper and then have one left over, which we do need a hopper uh, for our setup to work. So we are gonna craft that, which do we have wood down here? No, I put all my wood away, of course, go figure. I tried to get everything, keep everything organized, but it just didn't work out. And I gotta eat more of this, and this is exactly why it's frustrating to not have a good meal source, because steak is great, because it fills up like four or five of those uh, bars at a time, which is really quick and really helpful. Um, let's grab that. Actually, we already have a chest in here. Well, we need more chests, but anyhow. Go down here. All right, and then we'll grab our iron. Um, I smelted the other two I got um, from what we had going on. But yeah, so I had, to, I had to make a bucket to get this going. And I used this just so I didn't have to keep running down to the water uh, when I changed my mind about what I was building. Um, in addition to that, it's actually really nice because we also need water up here in general for this cow farm that we're going to build. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a hopper. Boom. And then we're going to build two chests just like that. And then we need a bucket of water. But since we have, I had, I had literally had to bring two buckets of water up here to get the infinite source, but that works out really well. Um, okay, so we are gonna build our setup here. And actually we need a building material to build it out of, which I, goodness, I don't even know what I necessarily want to build it out of, to be fair. Um, let's see what we have for building blocks. Let's see what we got up here. I actually might use some of the like dripstone. That dripstone might look kind of good. We'll grab some spruce and stuff like that. We don't have any oak. I will have a little bit, I suppose, but we don't want oak anyways, because it's going to blend in too much. We'll grab some of that dripstone. I'm not going to use obsidian. That would be ridiculous. Um, sand. No, there's nothing else really we have in there. Cobblestone, maybe. Um, we want anything else from up here? No, I don't think so. Uh, we got some dirt in case we need it. Maybe in our stack cobblestone, just in case. We could make some like uh, stone, which actually wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be a bad idea to make some stone, actually. I'm thinking about that. But anyhow, okay, let's go ahead and get it designed in here. Now, typically, you would have the, the it designed so the chest is going to be kind of in the floor a little bit, which I think we... I'm going to try to not do that. I want the chest to be, like, accessible to me, and I might actually only put one chest just because I think it'll look a little bit better. So if you do two spaces there, I want the start of it there, center, and then this can be... 
where the chest is at right here. I think this will work. So if we build it thinking about this, we want a hopper going in the back of this chest, just like that. So that's gonna move it over that way. Now, in terms of building materials, we want then to have this stuff built up around it, which you know what, we might actually just use this just because I think it'll look, it might look semi half decent in a stack. Yeah, I mean, we can always change it out later. Um, we will need a staircase to go right here um, because otherwise it's not gonna work the way it should. We can do that. Um, so let's break that down. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I actually want to use some stone. I think I like this as like a base uh, feature for it, but I think I want to use some stone. Uh, just, some, just some nice smooth stone. Now the hopper, if you don't know how it works, if items are in here, they will get moved into the chest that they're hooked up to or wherever they're hooked up to. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and we'll use some smooth stone. We'll have to make some smooth stone stairs, which we might actually be able to craft ourselves a stone cutter, which would be really helpful for us. So if we put this in there, maybe put like a little bit more fuel in there. Um, a stone cutter, if we go here, let's take that off of there, take a look. Um, it's not gonna probably show me the recipe. I actually don't think it's gonna show me the recipe in here. Smoker, we have a smoker by the way, which I don't know if I mentioned that, but it cooks. Uh, how do we get that? Oh, glowing sack, interesting. I thought there was a way to do that with honey, but I could have been very wrong. Uh, pumpkin pie, nice candle. There's a lot of cool uh, recipes in here, but uh, chain, I wanted to know how to make those as well for when we start doing lanterns and stuff like that. Fletching table, which really doesn't have any use for us. Uh, so I don't see, well, beehive. Yeah, yeah, of course, a beehive. We actually can make that right now with what we have in our inventory. Do we have any, do we have any honeycombs though? Oh, that's because they're up there. Pfft, duh, I knew that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think here. How much do the paintings cost to make or what do they cost? Okay, they're not too hard to make either. I just want to think about some stuff for future as well. Leather horse armor. Yeah, so okay, we we can't we can't build it until we, we get the There we go. Okay, so recipe book should have that in there now. A stone cutter. Yeah, right there. Okay, stone cutter. So oh, we need our last piece of iron. Oh, just the worst. I can we can do that now. Um oh maybe not. Where is that stone that okay yeah, there it is. Okay, there we go. So stone cutter. The reason we want a stone cutter, it's a very useful uh tool. We'll probably just put it right there. Uh, so if I put one of these in here, I can cut it into stairs. So I can I only need to make the one because I only need the one. So it's way more efficient, which it's one for one versus obviously if you do stairs in here, for example, we'll show you with these. Uh, we're using three, four, five, six blocks to get four stairs. So this is much more efficient. It does not work with wood though. So like if you're not going to do it for wood, but uh, for other stuff, again, you can do it kind of you want to do with that, which is, I don't know what I'm doing here, which is super cool. So you can make some slabs and different stuff like that, and you could do one for one if you wanted chiseled stone bricks, which actually the chiseled stone bricks, oh man, that kind of gives me an idea. They kind of look pretty nifty. I think that would almost be a better setup than what we were planning to do there. Let's grab, got some more of that in there. Let's do, let's put those in there. Let's do one, two, one, two, three, four of those. And then maybe like four of these around the edges or no, maybe actually just some like stone. Yeah, maybe the mix of those two. The other thing we could make is some smooth stone. We should be able to make some smooth stone at least. Gosh, how do you make smooth stone? Oh, we have to smelt this again, that's right. To make smooth stone, you smelt it again, which actually I think smooth stone would look really sweet for what we got going on. Um, we're gonna let it smelt this uh, cobblestone here and then we'll get some smooth stone rolling. Okay, we're gonna stop that, get that out of there. Um, one, two, three, four in there, because I think four smooth stone will get us started. And then we'll put some more cobblestone in there to get that rolling as well. So kind of what I'm thinking, we'll go out and take a look. And I got stone stairs, which actually I'd prefer smooth stone stairs, but um, since we have it, let's see if, let's see how it'll look. I actually think it'll look fine. It'll look a little different uh, potentially, but well, you know what? Actually, the way we're gonna design it, we're gonna make it all look the same. So we're not gonna use these stone stairs. We're gonna use the smooth stone. So we are gonna need these. Um, if we go in here, one of those in there. Oh, there's no such thing as smooth stone stairs. So never mind, we need that anyway, so it's all gonna be great. Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't wanna do that, but we all we will need you. So let's have you come with us. Uh, so here's my plan. I'll show you here in a second. We'll get those out there, get those ready to uh, build with. So if we get the cows, obviously the cows will get up to here, and then we'll use, the, we'll use these on the corners, which I like that. And then smooth stone around there, which I like that. And then I actually want this set up differently if I can. Of course, it's going to do that probably every time until 
I get it the way I want it to be. Let me get this out of the way here for a second. There we go. That's exactly how I want it. Because then it looks like it's a solid surface here, but we can still access the chest, which is important um, for something like this, obviously. We'll put some torches there. It's a little dark um, in here. So I'll put the torches there. So, okay. Now we are going to use dirt just to help us get up and down on this contraption. So right here, we're going to put a bucket of water. This is where the water is going to sit. It's going to hold the cows kind of down on the ground. Um, then we're going to have another layer um, above that, which will do the same setup here. And then above that, we're just going to have a fence post sit above the cows. And then we need to have like a stairway to get up to where they're at. So um, we're going to need another set of those stone materials there, which we can go grab real quick. Uh, okay, let's do, oops, sorry, I keep messing that up. Let's go in here and take a look at our furnace, which is still, oh, it's not going, okay, that's fine. Um, we have one of those there, so we need, we need two more, and then we'll put one of these above the other side so it all kind of matches. I think we'll do that, and then if we go, we only have three of those right now, so we can only make three of those there, but that's okay. That's a start, then we'll need to smelt one more cobblestone. Um, to get the last chiseled stone brick there. And then we'll need to figure out some stairs, which we'll throw some. Okay, there we go. We'll smell. Uh, we'll just put like 10 of you guys in there because we can always use some smooth stone later on. And this is used to make, uh, it's a blast furnace. I believe this is necessary uh, for making a blast furnace, which if you don't know what a blast furnace is, it's basically like the smoker, but for ore. So this furnace smelts at, let's say speed X. Um, this is going to smelt food or cook food at speed two times, so 2x. And then if you have a blast furnace, it's going to smelt ores at 2x, basically, is kind of the concept there. Um, okay, we'll grab that. Let's get one more of these guys set up. And we might do, like, maybe some of those stairs. Um, that actually might look kind of nice in the barn. So, actually, that might be what we end up doing. Uh, so, yeah, we'll let you work on smelting that. We're probably going to want some more, actually. So, we'll just throw another 10 in there. And we need more fuel in there as well. Okay. Beautiful, it can work on that for a second. I'm um, sorry, I'm looking at my time for this episode. We're gonna be a little long on it, but that's okay. It's gonna be pretty cool that we get this all squared away. Um, yeah, this is gonna be cool. So I think I think we'll like this. Or I think you guys will like this, I guess I should say. Um, okay, so now up here at the top, we'll do boom, 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 and boom. And then we're gonna throw these guys in here just to kind of add that. So that can go on there to match that side and boom like that. So this is where we need to get cows into. Now that's kind of the the plan and then we'll put a fence over the top of it and it'll be good to go and then all we need at past that is just some stairs uh, to get up to it which i actually might think about putting the stairs on the side i might actually put them right up front um, and then just have us have to go around to get to the chest and actually you know what we could do well we're still here at this point let's grab that water again let's just re redo this real quick let me grab that water before it goes too crazy that already went crazy thankfully none of i just thought about that thankfully none of my Concrete powder was on the floor level always that would have turned it all into oh it did it turned these two into concrete well you know what just to have it match um we'll just do that that's unfortunate i didn't even think about that um but okay let's go ahead and we're gonna do this is what we're we, this is what i came in here to do because i want the stairs up front um so we're actually gonna move this part of it to the side so we're gonna grab those we're gonna put the chest right here and then we're gonna put the hopper going into the chest, like so. Put this right there. And then right here, we're gonna get rid of this. And then we are going to put this in that corner so it goes where I want it to. And then, oh, that's right. If you break, obviously, one of the regular stone blocks, it's gonna turn into cobblestone again. That makes a lot of sense. That's how it's supposed to do. There we go. Got that water in there again. Everything's good to go. Okay, let's go check on that. And of course, it's nighttime again. That just shows how long we've been working on this one simple project. So uh, let's go ahead and take a quick breather here. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish it up. Actually, I'll put a break in here. I'm going to finish it up. And then all you have to do is push cows into that water pit in there. So um, I will get the cows in there. And then I'll put the, show you the part where we do the fence post. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. So I have two cows in there. Well, actually, it kind of went very poorly. Uh, so... I fell in and I had two cows in there. So I bred the two cows while I was in there. So they gave me another cow. And thankfully we had three cows total outside. So they have a baby cow in here and a regular cow. Now normally you just keep feeding them both until, um, yeah, essentially they'll keep breeding and breeding and breeding, but they're bouncing up and down, which is a little frustrating. So that's why we put basically that little fence post on there. And then we can take this guy out of here. So that keeps them in there, but we can still, again, we can still feed them if we'd like to. I'm gonna take that off my offhand now. 
We can still feed them if you like to, and then essentially when they die, their drops will drop into here. So now, I think it's like, you have to get something like 24 cows in there. So it's going to take us a while to get this to be an efficient food source for us, but at least it is a start. And cows do not fit through doors, as I remembered. Right there. Oh, and we also had two leads. That's because a traveling trader came by. He didn't have anything good to trade, so I unfortunately did kill him for his leads. But it's all fine. Everything's great. Uh, it started to get dark out, and that's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop, or excuse me, Gamer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Gamer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.